What's up, baseball fans? So the owners and the Players Association sat down yesterday and talked contracts. Well, well, well. How the turntables. I wanted to give you a live look in at both the owners and the players. First, the owners. Give me what I want. Give Not me what I want. And uh, here's the players. <laughs> oh, come on! So heading into these meetings yesterday, there were reports going around that Major League Baseball was going to propose simply just deferring the players' salaries for this year without really any major additional pay cuts. However, that ended up being a little different. So the owners proposed to the players a sliding pay scale. So what that is, is the least paid players would take the least amount of a pay cut, while the highest paid players would take the most pay cuts. So let's take a look at a couple of Jeff Passan's tweets yesterday because he broke down some of the numbers for us. A player making the minimum salary of 563000 for the year would end up taking a 53.6% pay cut and make 262000 In the middle, at around $10 million, they would be taking about a 70% pay cut. And if someone is making $35 million, they would end up taking around a 77% pay cut for the year. That is massive. However, those are numbers for a full season, so let's take a look at it from a prorated salary point of view. If someone on the minimum salary was making the prorated salary of 285000 that would be cut to 262000 which would be about 8%. A player making $10 million, let's say Brett Gardner, for example, would be making around $5 million prorated, but on this scale, that $5 million would turn into around $3 million, which would be close to a 40% decrease. A player making $35 million, let's say Nolan Arenado, for example, would be making around 17.7 million. On this scale, that would turn into 7.84 million, a 55.8% decrease. As expected, this was not received well from the players, and many of them took to Twitter. Marcus Stroman was saying that the season isn't looking very promising. Jack Flaherty shared a simple gift that really didn't even need any words. And there were players like Jake Dykeman that were frustrated about information being leaked to the media. And then there's players like Brett Anderson who think that Major League Baseball are simply just trying to make their highest paid players look bad. So here's my take. I think this is a pretty garbage proposal from the owners, and I've been pretty in the middle of this whole thing. And say what you want about players making a ton of money to play a game and yada yada, but at the end of the day, these are huge pay cuts. So the questions that I'm asking are, why is Major League Baseball starting off with such a terrible proposal? And why is this information getting leaked out to the media? Three words, negotiation, divide, and conquer. So first off, why Major League Baseball would be offering such a bad proposal to start things off? Well, that's how negotiations work. The first offer is usually the worst. We are prepared to make you a very generous offer. And we are prepared to reject that offer. Michael, you haven't even heard we'll Never accept their first offer. What is your second offer? So another question is, why would Major League Baseball even offer a sliding scale in the first place? In Major League Baseball, there are roughly around 140 players making at least 10 million. In 2019, there were almost 900 players total in the Major Leagues. So when you put 760 players making under 10 million up against 140 players making 10 million or more, I mean, I don't know, that's pretty one-sided. I would bet money that there are a lot of players making under 10 million this year that wanna play this year, that wanna build up their values, and they're looking at these high-paid players that don't wanna take pay cuts, and they're thinking, come on, man. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> so in the end, this is just a tactic for Major League Baseball to try and divide the players. They're trying to make them fight amongst each other. And then they're just going to look even worse. Another question is, why is all of this getting leaked out to the media? Many people are going to turn on their TVs, whether it's the ESPN, NBC, ABC, Nickelodeon, whatever it may be. And they're going to see that these players are not happy with taking pay cuts. And they're not going to show any sympathy towards these players. No matter what, this is not going to help the players at all. Do I think it's good on Major League Baseball for getting all this information leaked out to the media and then starting off with really bad proposals? Well, no. But is it smart? Well, yeah. Simply put, Major League Baseball, they're playing hardball here with the Players Association. And personally, again, like I've stated before, I'm on both sides here. Both sides have arguments. I think the players deserve to get paid. I mean, hey, you can say what you want about players making all this money, but they're the best in the world at what they do. 
and they're working for a company, Major League Baseball, that is a revenue monster and they're profiting off these players. These players deserve to make money and they don't deserve to be taking all these huge pay cuts. But I'm also on the side of the owners. I understand owners need to look out for their franchises. They need to look out for their business. And hey, say what you want about the owners, but business does not care about what your emotions think. The owners aren't just looking at 2020, they're looking at 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. What I wish Major League Baseball would just offer is to simply just do the prorated salaries like they agreed upon and just defer some of it to a future date so it allows Major League Baseball to get their footing and they can pay the players down the road. If they do want to do some pay cuts, I mean, if anything, 10, 15, I don't know, maybe 20%, even that's stretching it. But if they were to do a small pay cut to try and compensate for the loss of ticket sales, I would be okay with that too. And I don't know, to balance things out, maybe Major League Baseball could offer more of the TV money to the players if your team makes the playoffs. Maybe in the off season, for this one off season, they could propose a salary floor without a salary cap. So that way it at least guarantees the players that they're gonna make pretty good money next year. I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I'm not that smart. I have the brain of a cantaloupe, but these people working for Major League Baseball, they're pretty smart. They have to have some ideas that are fair for both sides. I don't care what they do, but they need to figure this out because if they don't, they're gonna look really bad. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.